Brendan, you joined the team just about two months ago. It's early morning here on a Saturday. You're putting on a free camp. Why? Well, I think it's important uh, to build my structure here in South Florida on, the, you know, just the community. You know, with the love and, and the support I've received so far in my short time here, uh, it's really important to me to really get out to the community and just give back and help others. You've been here just two and a half months or, or about since mid-April, I guess, is when you, when you signed on. You've been, I guess, out in the community at, at public supermarkets. Uh, why is this such a, such a big, big goal for you to really make an imprint here early on in South Florida? Well, I mean, I have huge goals on the field, but off the field, they're even bigger. You know, uh, I think uh, with the success I've had so far in my short career, uh, it wouldn't be possible if I didn't have others helping me, you know, and sometimes when you have guys in my position, you know, it just gives kids or others that extra boost just to push forward and uh, try to achieve their goals. You've been here, albeit a couple of months. How's it been on the field with the guys off the field a little bit? How has it been with the, your new teammates? Well, you know what? It, it's awesome. You know, every day I come in in uh, the team meeting room, uh, Coach Perano, I have to tell you, it's goosebumps that I get on my arm. I've never been around a guy that's so passionate about football and uh, loves it as much as he does. And uh, it, it, it works. It works for us, and uh, it definitely trickles down to the team. The team, offensively, you look at Chad Henney, uh, there's a lot of promise with him uh, coming on. He's got a strong arm, a, a guy that could throw deep, and I'm sure you appreciate that ability. What do you see in Chad Henney? Very talented arm, uh, probably one of the best arms I've seen, um, and one of the smartest guys I've played with. Last year, playing with Kyle Wharton, uh, he was really smart, you know, and uh, I learned a lot from him. But, you know, Chad, I must say, he, he gives it his all, you know, in the study room and also watching film, and it makes him good and his job easier on the field. When you look at this offense and you see a Ricky Williams and a Ronnie Brown in the backfield, Chad at quarterback, an offensive line yeah. that is probably one of the team's strengths, how excited are you about this offense? I'm licking my chops. I mean, when you got uh, such a great offensive line, probably one of the best in football, and then you have that backfield with Ronnie and Ricky, uh, a guy like myself on the outside gets a lot of one-on-ones and a lot of opportunities. How can you, as part of this wide receiver group, help the other guys, the, the best is the Camarillos, the Heartline? Yeah. Well, I mean, I can take off pressure, you know, um, get, you know, put them in more one-on-one -on -one situations and, and, and they'll probably have better opportunities. But it works hand in hand. You know, uh, the better I'm doing, uh, the better they'll do and vice versa. So we're looking forward to the challenge and our, one of our goals is to be probably the best segment in, uh, in the National Football League. You have the nickname, The Beast. Yeah. How'd you get that? I, my play on the field, just um, Jaws Jaworski, probably my second year, my, my breakout year. And, uh, you know, I was playing against the Tennessee Titans on Monday Night Football, and he just called me the beast, and it just stuck with me. Asamua says you're a defensive lineman playing wide receiver. Do you relish the role of, of, the, of the punishment, the hit with those DBs? Well, you know, I think that's what makes me, you know, my game. You have other receivers who like to go deep and other receivers who try to shake guys, but for me, you know, I try to impose my will. And uh, with that being said, you know, if I get a ball in the flats and there's a DB in my way, I'm trying to run through them. What do you do in your, in your downtime? I, I read about restoring old vintage cars. Can you talk about that passion? Oh, man, it, my mother uh, in high school, she used to give us a couple of dollars for, for Christmas instead of gifts once we got to a certain age. And she brought home this classical car, and I was like, Mom, I want this car. And she's like, boy, no. <laughs> and uh, Christmas time came, and she had the keys and the stocking. And uh, ever since then, it's been a passion of mine. And you're restoring, uh, what have you restored? To right me? now, my, my, my project's uh, Oldsmobile, yeah, Cutlass. So I painted it yellow, and um, we're going to run with that one for now. What's it like? You played at UCF. You, you went to high school at Winter Park, right? Yes. What's it like to be back here in your home state? It feels good. There's a lot of love. Uh, I mean, honestly, I can't even ex explain it. You know, everywhere we go, it, it's amazing. I have family here, and uh, I'll get text messages of people wearing my, you know, pictures of people wearing my jersey, and uh, just a lot of fan support, you know, and a lot of community support. And I think that's why it's important for me to give back and that weight, you know, a lot of guys wait, but I think it's important for me to build my structure now. 
Welcome to South Florida. Thank hey, you. Hey, thanks for having me. Appreciate it, man. All right.